Project Origin is a technology demonstrator for the small mission equipment transport, SMIT, uh, program record, as well as the robotic combat vehicle emerging program. What we do is we take technology that the soldiers like, we put it on the vehicle, test it in a field environment with the soldiers, and get their feedback, and then provide that feedback to the program managers for the RCV and the SMET so that they don't waste uh, valuable Army resources on stuff the soldiers don't like. So Origin's a sensor platform. Um, it's a uh, telepresence. It's not a soldier. It's not as good as a soldier. It never will be as good as a soldier. But it gives the soldier an ability to read the terrain and detect threats. Uh, really the goals for the soldier operational experiment are to use the Origin platforms as an RCV light surrogate and as a tech demonstrator so we can get soldier feedback of how the release from where we when we take a look at what we're doing with respect to how we're integrated some of the key technologies uh, we had no idea we could take it this far and honestly it's a testament to the hard work from the RCV enterprise this is the whole uh, span of CC DevCom working together to deliver these capabilities, whether it be from Armament Center, uh, integrating the lethality systems, C5ISR, integrating the AIDTR algorithms. This is a product of a lot of different people working very hard to bring this capability to fruition. Behind us, out in the woods, you see the very first manned unmanned teaming infantry platoon in the United States Army. So it's never been done before, where we're having large unmanned ground combat vehicles integrated into um, a traditional force structure. Well, the soldiers have been incredibly eager to learn and incredibly receptive. Every other system on it worked well. The jammer worked when we were over there about to move on the objective and they were sending drones at us. Uh, they couldn't even get them you know, near us because they were all being blocked and turned around. Having much more of a screening capability and a, uh, an ability to screen yourself and so that the enemy can't see you and whatnot in an infantry, light infantry platoon. Uh, we only have, you know, a small smoke grenade. This has a full entire smoke generator on it. Uh, it was very, very good and we use that quite a bit. This is totally new. The light infantry is used to their rucksack and their weapon. Uh, they're used to looking at a map, getting an azimuth, moving out, making contact, executing their battle drills to attack. And now you're saying, hey, stick this in your formation. And oh, by the way, pull somebody off of your formation to use it. So they're gonna figure that out. And that's what we're doing, we're figuring it out. End of the night last night, I couldn't have been more happy uh, with the enthusiasm they had, the ideas they generated. And we're capturing that to develop the tactics, techniques, and procedures, of how to employ it, where it goes as far as the organization. And then more importantly, is it useful? Um, right now, I would say, yeah, they're saying it's useful. You know, we, we didn't have much electronics on our, on our weapons. Not much in our rucksacks. 